What's up guys, welcome back to Easy Life Productions for another Logic Quick Tip with me, years from now. So today I'm gonna to be taking you through the MIDI transform functions, kind of highlighting the ones that I think are the most useful and just letting everybody know that there is a MIDI transform section out there and it's super useful. Let's get into it. So here we are in Logic. I've just dragged in this simple MIDI file that has come from the Jiraiya Nadsen Vintage Keys sample pack. It's super great, go check it out, link in the description. But what we want to do to start is get the piano roll up. So you can either press P or double click on it. And down here you'll see this functions menu. And under this we have MIDI transform. Now these are all super useful things that you can do to the MIDI uh, to make your life a bit easier. I'm just gonna run you through the ones that I think are the most useful and you can in your own time check through the rest. So, without further ado, let's start with fixed velocity. So this is super useful because having a velocity sensitive keyboard is a must. Here we've dragged this in and all the velocities are a bit different. So again, it's perfect. You can see things aren't exactly lined up on the grid. The velocity is a bit different. So it does have that nice human played feel. But if we don't want that and we've played it in, what we do, MIDI transform, fixed velocity, you choose your velocity, so we'll go with 100, but you know, you can just drag it up and down, and you press select and operate, and you can see here that everything is at the exact same velocity, you can see it with the colours. So I'm going to undo that and take you to the next MIDI transform function. The double speed and half speed functions are super useful just because it's a quick way of doing something that would otherwise take you quite a long time. So if we command A all of these functions, double speeds, select and operate. Now it will go twice as fast. So let's hear that. As opposed to its original. Exact same thing with the half speed. So next up, I would have to show you guys the MIDI Transform Humanize tool. This is super useful for when you've played something in on a MIDI keyboard that maybe isn't velocity sensitive or on a smaller keyboard or on your laptop. If something just sounds a bit too static, robotic, and you want to humanize it as uh, it does suggest, you can go here and you can choose to randomize the velocity so this is kind of like by how much you want to randomize it by. You can randomize the length of the note. So if you don't want them to all stop at the same time, you can randomize this and they will all kind of lengthen out, shorten out a little bit. And we've got this position, which is super useful as well, because again, if you're playing things in naturally, it's not gonna be quantized to the grid. So you change this a bit as well, select and operate, and you can see the Velocity has changed quite a bit and just the starts and ends of these have all kind of changed I'll undo that for you and you can see that there. So super useful for making a static MIDI sequence much more human So the last thing I'm going to show you isn't actually in the MIDI transform section But you'll see that these final options are all to do with note length now These are all super useful, but I'm going to show you a really quick and easy tip for making all your MIDI the same length. So all of these have been quantized to the bar and they're all different lengths. If I grab and drag like normal and press Alt Shift, I drag and they all become the same length. That's super useful uh, just to make your workflow super fast and if you need something like that done, you just Alt Shift, <laughs> done. So let me know what you thought of this quick tip. We're trying to keep them nice and snappy. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment with anything that you want to learn in Logic or Ableton, and we'll reply. And if it's good enough, we'll make a video and shout you out. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time. That was easy.